Drag my butt. This just in, they're no longer Dragma. They are Dogmatica. I'll just call them Dogma for short, because no way I'm in hell I'm going to be saying Dogmatica this, Dogmatica that. So all the way, let's get into Dogmatica and vote, shall we? I would just like to apologize in advance for everybody because for whatever reason the invoked cards are all super hard to get right now so right now I only really have the one in Alistair, I'll, the other two will be coming in the mail soon so this will be triple Alistair invoker, your main play starter with either you know if you already have magical meltdown in hand, magic meltdown him and add the invocation and you know basically you're prioritizing Set up Mechaba first, then going into your Dogma cards after, because your Dogma cards lock you out of your extra deck when on their summon. Speaking of Dogma, Triple New Girl Eclair. Plesia, I should say. I just call her Eclair for fun. And uh, she is your searcher next to Nadir for searching out your other Dogmas, which would be Maximus, in case you need to mess around with your opponent's extra deck, or, or set up more of your plays, or Fleur de Lis. When you just want to sit on your fourth or fifth infinite impermanence, because he's just an infinite impermanence on a summon. Double Maximus. Free summon by just banishing an extra deck monster from your graveyard. Then on top of that, dump two extra deck monsters from your extra deck. You force your opponent to dump two of theirs. So you could possibly mess with any combo plays that they have going on. So you know, if you're lucky, and they, you can mess with their guard dragon plays. Your Huck up their high cliff Ibrax, all that. Maybe mess with you know them trying to do extravagance, mitten, make them not get their draws. And two Fleur de Lis. Like I said before, he's just a special summon infinite impermanence on legs. On top of when your dogmas attack, they gain a 500 attack boost for the battle. Two Ash Blossoms because Ash Blossom is still one of the best hand traps in the game. Double Ghost Ogre because we don't want to deal with Numerons or anything else that sits on the board. And two of what most likely went and made the dinosaurs go extinct. The, uh, I primarily had Albus in mind to have in the deck just because you can tr you can fuse off the token to go into Titan. But for now, like uh, with Albus, I have to wait for him to come into the to come in the mail so right now you're just going to see the placeholders I have. One should all beast because I'm pretty sure you're, you're going to see me have App Cologne and Construct in my extra deck so you can have App Cologne dump him for a free draw. Triple Magical Meltdown, search your Alistair and start all your plays going. Like I said before, prioritizing the Mechaba Fusion Summon first before going into all your dogmas. Three invocations and just for the fact that invocation can fusion summon other cards out if you're unlucky enough to have beast in hand you could still fusion summon out a shadal monster and still get the draw off because you know it was sent to grave triple nadir another play starter especially if you're going second because then you can dump natis or dump app cologne to either get you know an extra draw for whatever you need or get the pops Three called by the grace because we don't like to get hand trapped. One terraforming for our magical meltdowns. I just have this place in place for Albus to see if Albus will work out when I get him. Or, you know, for all those who want to spend the extra buck, you have this in place of triple tactical talents. One, we can have nice things. Three, infinite impermanence because of the permanence. One of the best trap cards out there right now. Three Solemn Judgment because there are decks, there are things this deck cannot handle. One thing that I have had in mind a lot was what can it do against monster, waking the dragon targets such as Ultimate Falcon. So it's good to have something like the Solemn Judgments to negate something like waking the dragon or or uh, whatever that tenyi, uh, the tenyi omni negate is. If that gets popped, then they try to drop a blue eyes ultimate on you. 
one dogma deck of punishment because this can potentially be a double pop with dumping the Tiss and the pop that this has all of it. And one Shadal Sheem because we're dumping Construct, we're dumping Apoin, we're dumping Beast. We have the materials to go into stuff like Winda or Construct if need be. Out for the extra deck. One Almirage because we can send uh, send away Alistair for Almirage. And then put Sigir Garden on top just to have the non -bur uh, non burn damage for us for the turn. And on top of that, it's your main play starter for getting Mechaba out. Three Elder Entity Natis. You can try it out at three. You can also try it out at two. Right now, I just have the third Natis as a placeover for the second Mechaba that I'm waiting to have come in in the mail. And like I said before, Natis is your main card of standing to grave and popping cards on the field. Double Titan, because you can actually it can actually become a big beater if you do bring it out with Aldas, or you can send it to grave and have its graveyard effect go off to add a Dogmatica card to hand. Also, time that might, it's going to be Florida Lee, so that way you can have the negate in hand on board for your opponent's plays. Winda, double App Queen, and Construct. You saw the Shadal Sheem I had. Just make Shadal Winda on their turn, interrupt their plays, Apcloween, dump the beast to get your draw, and then Construct to either add to add the Sheem in hand and get that ready for, like I said before, the Shadal Winda plays. Invoke Kaliga because we like to stop our opponents from activating, uh, from going too crazy with their effects and only having them attack once per turn. One invoked Algo 80s, you're going to be sending a lot of infusions to Grave, so it helps that on his summon he can pop, and on him banishing a fusion monster, he can gain that fusion monster's attack and get pretty big for the turn. And this placeholder is supposed to be Purgatrio. He can do multiple attacks. For, he can multiple attack mo other monsters on top of he gains an extra 200 attack for each monster on board. And then the one Mechaba, because it's Mechaba, it negates. Hey, that's uh, Dogma, Dogma Invoked. Hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell the next, so you can figure out the next time we upload. And uh, have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.